Hey, welcome back. Dr. Shelby here with C Better MD. Let's talk about presbyopia. It's kind of a big word, but it's that loss of near vision as we get older. I have a lot of patients and friends who will call me and say, oh my God, I'm going blind. I suddenly can't see. So, of course, we'll take a look at them. Their distance vision is still very, very good. They've just lost the ability to read up close. That's what we call presbyopia. And that is actually a slow process over time. So it's a reward for birthdays, basically. As you get older, it's just going to happen. You're going to face it. Unless you're already nearsighted, then you'll have some near vision anyway. But you'll end up having to wear glasses for distance. In a typical situation, you have great distance vision. And slowly, that near vision begins to deteriorate. And usually when we hit about 40 is when we begin to notice those symptoms. So especially towards the end of the day. You know, towards the end of the day, things aren't quite as clear. You're arms aren't long enough you know to be able to see the cell phone things like that and that's because your god-given lens can no longer change shape to focus light where it needs to be okay that's just a normal change and so as we get older the lens continues to lose its ability to focus in up close and that's why you need reading glasses so before running out and thinking you're going blind go by the drugstore the dollar store Grab a low power pair of readers and you'll see the numbers on there will be like plus 100, plus 150, plus 200, something like that. And put on a low power pair, like a plus 100. And you're going to be amazed at how much better that near vision is. So don't worry, when you lose that near vision, that's just normal. That means you live quite a while and hopefully you live a lot longer. Still a good idea to come in and let us take a look, especially if you haven't had an eye exam in a while or ever, as the case may be, because we can check for other things that could cause vision problems over time. You know, a lot of patients will opt for bifocals so they don't have to mess with reading glasses because, you know, a lot of times you lose them. I mean, hell, around the house here, we got about a thousand different pairs. But with bifocals, they can be plain up top or maximize that distance vision through the top. And then through the bottom, it has that magnification. And so that's mainly for convenience. So you're not chasing down reading glasses everywhere. Contact lenses initially, what we call monovision, which is where you're shooting out your dominant eye. We leave for distance. Your other eye, we leave a little bit nearsighted, you know, so we give you some of that near vision. And what happens is, as long as your brain works normally, it'll blend those images together to where you can see most everything at a distance and you can read everything up close. Actually works amazingly well. And that's probably something you may want to ask your eye care provider about. So when you start to lose that near vision and your arms aren't quite long enough, don't worry, you're not going blind. Those are normal changes. Congratulate yourself because you made it this far. And remember, when you see better, you live better.